good morning modern steaders uh, it's 10 degrees out Fahrenheit a lot warmer than yesterday uh, I call for a couple of big snowstorms this weekend I believe the first one starts Friday we've got a couple of inches and then Saturday and Sunday we're really gonna get hammered with snow I don't know if where you live there's a lot of snow and not coming your way this weekend but if there is be safe good morning a lot warmer last night huh the video the other day on this bucket was empty pretty sure there's a hole in it and it's leaking somewhere. Right there, it must have a crack. I'll have to bring it in the house and find out. So I don't think they drank all their water the other night because this is full of water. So I'm not quite sure what happened to that bucket. I'll have to bring it in the house and see what's going on. I think it's kind of odd that it cracked like that. I don't know if it's just from the cold or what. Oh, I don't think you can see it, but Blossom must have already finished her alfalfa pellets and grain because she came right up over to Willow's dish and started smelling it. From what I understand, goats don't show that they're pregnant until they're about two to two and a half months long in their pregnancy. And Willow, if it took, she's about a month. It was December 18th when we brought her the second time to get bread. She hasn't gone back into heat yet. And they're on a heat cycle every, I think it's like 18 to 21 or 18 to 24 days. They go into heat during this time of the year. And she hasn't come back into heat yet. So, I'm thinking she might be pregnant, guys. Another week, another month to a month and a half. And hopefully we'll be able to see a good-sized baby bump. What are you doing? You want some hay now? No, you don't want your hay. You ready to come out? Trying to find more pellets. Oh, come on, silly goat. There you go. Go ahead. No, you got to get out, all of you. Nope, there's nothing in here for you. You coming? Come on. I can definitely feel moisture in the air this morning. It's like a real rawness to it. It almost feels colder than it did yesterday because of that. We got a couple of comments from subscribers saying we could get 30 inches of snow up here this weekend. That's a lot of snow. We don't need almost three feet of snow. Good morning, 
What are you doing, Moose? Keeping the ladies warm? Thinking if there's an egg, it's under her. You hiding an egg on us? Yeah, uh, one egg. She must still be laying an egg. She's a Novagen, so she lays brown eggs, and that egg under her is a green one from one of the Easter egg layers. We froze it in the snow. Come on. Yesterday afternoon, Pluto was in a snowbank digging at it and it was like she was eating something. I called her. Took her a few times, but she came. But then she ended up puking last night and she woke us up like three or four times last night to go outside. So we need to find out what was in that snowbank. She was over here. I don't know if you can see it, but right there. This is a snowbank I plowed up a while ago. What the heck? You guys see that? I don't know how good it's showing up on camera. Whatever it is, it's frozen in the ground. See some little feet and toenails, huh? It looks like a possum. That's just strange. Pluto didn't eat any of it. There's not any bite marks out of it. It's completely frozen. So I don't know why she got sick last night. <sighs> she seems fine this morning. Just have to keep an eye on her and get that possum out of here and throw it away. Man. Frozen in a snowbank. You just never know what you're gonna find, I guess, around here, guys. That's just crazy. I can't see anything wrong with him. He looks completely intact. I never knew that possums were this far north. It's kind of odd. So, I don't know, we've had a weird year with critters. We've had possums, we had skunks getting into the chicken coop. If you guys didn't see the videos with the skunks, I'll put a link to that playlist right here. But it's been an odd year this year with weather, animals, everything. Curious to see if I can get this 55 gallon drum out. We need it for an upcoming project. And we're gonna be getting like three feet of snow. I better take it out now. If I can get it. Oh, there we go. Perfect. for the chickens. Got 
guys want some extra food scraps? That's another nice thing about cooking with whole foods is any tidbits left over or food that's passed by that you didn't get to eat. You get to feed it to your animals and you know they're eating good. It's just a continuous circle. I love it. So last week, I didn't share with you guys, I took the drone out to get a nice sunset and the darn thing took off and it's like a mile in the woods. So we lost our drone and we lost our GoPro. So I ordered a new GoPro. And this time, the GoPro 7 Black, Olivia's all excited for it. They are supposed to be sending us another drone and GoPro, but I don't know when that'll get here. So in the meantime, we can't go without a GoPro. Yeah. We're gonna need it for tomorrow's video. So this is the one with the super smooth built-in gimbal. So there's supposed to be no shakiness to it. Let's see how we open it. The moral of the story is don't buy a GoPro drone. They make awesome cameras. Their drones are terrible. This is the third time they've had to replace our drone for us because it loses connection with the remote. I really don't want to use the drone that much anymore. I know I will because we can get some epic shots, but someday I'd like to upgrade to a different drone. I don't like knowing that the one I'm taking out and flying can just take off on me for no reason. GoPro, you need to fix that. Olivia said no, Figaro. She wants to carry you outside. You gotta wait till she's ready. Um, you ready? Almost. Fixing your ponytail? Don't worry, Figaro. Once she gets her new puppy, she won't be lugging you around anymore. I brought that out so you could pull me around. No. Yes. No. Oh, you gotta grow some muscles. Eat some spinach and be like Popeye. Oh, there you go. Lean. Ah, uh, you sunk. I see you way over there. Let's go. You sunk? Yeah. You made it. <laughs> you look comfy. Too comfy. Yeah. What do you think, girls? Get in, or Pluto will come over. Oh, they're all gonna go to this side today? Yeah, because I'm feeding them on that side. <laughs> Waiting to see Blossom get head butted. <laughs> you being a good girl, Pluto? <laughs> being a good girl? Best seat in the house. One more. <laughs> you gonna get in with her, Pluto? Want me to pull you too? I should have put her sweater on her. I forgot. You don't want to ride? Okay. Makes it easier on me.
What's the matter? You can't get Figaro under the truck? Tonight we're gonna make chicken barley soup. Got our homemade chicken stock. Oh. Gotta mince up some garlic. Don't tell Gina I'm using her garlic press. calls for three quarters of a cup of barley. But I'm gonna go ahead and put in a cup. Can of diced tomatoes. leftover chicken from last night's dinner. Oh, Olivia knitted her first winter hat, and Figaro, well, <laughs> he's not too impressed, is he? No. No. Let me see your hat. Oh, pretty cool. Do you like that hat, Figaro? <laughs> Oh, some homemade crackers. Homemade crackers. Well, I'm not quite sure what happened there with that possum and how it ended up in the snowbank. I don't know if it froze to death because it's not normal to have possums here in our northern climate or what. It was definitely a coincidence 
with Pluto getting sick and the possum, they're totally unrelated. Pluto is feeling fine. I just think it was an odd coincidence, and <laughs> I don't know. But I just think it's really odd that there was a possum in a snowbank. So let me know what your thoughts are on that and why that would be there. <sighs> Hope you guys have been having a great winter. I don't know what to expect with the storm we're getting. When this video is out, I think the storm will probably have started, but it'll be interesting to see what develops over the next couple of days. We're going to be going and getting the new puppy Tanner shortly. That is going to be fun, something new and exciting to look forward to on the homestead for all of us. We just thank all of you for being here. You're such a huge blessing to our family. We hope that in some way or another we can be a huge blessing for you. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.